So it's always confused me with binaries um, and, and the linking process. I get quite confused with what is a linker and how does that relate to um, like GCC or Clang or building tools or the tool chain. Sometimes it's called the, the tool chain used to build. And how does that impact whether a executable will run or not? And this is within the Linux domain, um, which has ELF, e e -L -F binaries, as opposed to the, uh, is it PE format for, for Windows? So um, I've discovered this, this new command. It's not new, um, this command that's new to me, um, which is really, really useful. Um, it's a way of checking what was the compiler version used at the time to build that binary. Um, so we've got a mix of worlds here. So I'm, I'm learning the new, pro very new programming language called, language called Mojo. And I've recently learned you can quite easily install multiple versions of GCC um, in Ubuntu. So if I have a look at the lists here, using the update alternatives, perhaps you've used that when changing Python versions. Um, but you can, after installing whichever version of GCC, um, you can then say which one you want to set that to. And but basically it sets a symlink, a symlink to that. So when I type GCC, oops, when I type GCC version, because I've selected version nine, that's the sim link for that. So I suspect if I do file which GCC, I do a file on user bin GCC, that will be a sim link to, yeah, there we go. It's a sim link to alternatives, which probably then has a mapping. Look, yeah, and then that's a symbolic link to GCC9. So if I wanted to update that, um, I was using this very helpful tutorial. Um, which shows how to update it. So I've added, first I've added them, and then I've updated them. So I can say, actually, I'd like to do a, I would like to use GCC 12. So I'll switch that to 12. Now we're on GCC 12. I'll, I'll switch the C++ compiler as well. So if I just update that to 12, yeah, we're on. 12 for that and for sorry G plus plus C plus plus there we go and I want to change that to 12 why is that important because I want to compile now I'm going to remove those binaries got to this from earlier and I'm going to compile one that's compiled with GCC version 12 and another with version 9 and that matters because the version of glibc, which is not the same thing as GCC, so GCC is the overarching compiler which um, can compile multiple different languages, um, notably C or C++. And GCC is the actual piece. I'm not 100% not sure on the correct wording here, so I'm going to be careful. Um, but let's say, for example, you've got an old an older version of GCC and you want your binary to run, it will not run if it's got a too new or a newer version of, of um, glibc in it. If you've got an older version that your target is running on, it will execute fine. Why will it execute fine? Because glibc has excellent backward compatibility and cares very much about backward compatibility. Um, so as long as your target is is newer, um, or, or sorry, if, if, if as long as you compile um, with this with an older version of glibc, it's much more likely that your binary will be compatible with more uh, Linux systems. However, it won't have the advantages of perhaps some sort of speed enhancements um, that are built into newer versions of GCC, such as taking advantage of newer uh, CPU architectures. 
or is that the right thing to say, newer architectures? I mean, it's likely targeting x86, but perhaps enhancements to the hardware of those architectures. So things like the um, particular registers that you might be able to take, take uh, advanced uh, floating point registers, for example, um, or additional registers, that sort of thing. Right, so I'm going to compile that now. So I'm going to create a new build of this, this code. I should just quickly, it's just a simple hello world program. So I'm going to build that. So there we go, we've built that program. And if we run that program, of course, nothing exciting there. Um, I'm just going to read the comment of that using the read read elf program. And yeah, sure enough, as we expect, um, it was built with um, GCC version 12. Now, if I run a container now of a very old um, version of Ubuntu, now this version of Ubuntu, this, this container, if you like, was put together before GCC um, version 12 was out. I haven't actually got GCC installed, so I'm about to show you that. Um, but if I do LDD, the link program version, you'll see that the glibc version on here is 2.31. And remember, glibc is not the same thing as GCC. glibc is the actual, um, I think I'm right to say compiler part of it. But please correct me if I'm wrong. So if I do the same thing here, we've got a much newer, I say much newer, but a little bit newer, Linker, a, a newer glibc version, I should say. So if I try and run that binary I've compiled, notice that I've, I've mounted the binary inside the container. So if I try and run that binary inside the container, and remember this container was built and is using a much older version of glibc, it's going to complain, it's going to fail, because it's that binary hasn't been compiled with the uh, the correct version. So if, you, if you're trying to distribute software and um, meet demand of a certain user base that might be constrained to a particular version, you have to be mindful of this. But we can, because we can change the version on our host machine, so if I just switch versions and say I'd like to go back in time and say I'd like to go to version 9 of GCC, and I'll update that one as well to version 9. Now when I do my LDD, I've got a much, much newer version, or should I say older, Got an older version. Did I actually change that? Let's check. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, interesting. So the LDD binary hasn't actually changed. Also, possibly because I didn't change that. I've only got one version of that. Interesting. User bin compared to GCC. Got, we see I've got multiple versions, that's why the symbolic links work. But I do know, because I've just tested earlier, but if I now if I rebuild that application, but before I do, I'll create a backup. So the, the one I've just created a back, backup of is too new for the container. So in this example, the container is a, a customer target user base that might have an older version of um, glibc running. So if I now build that again, we'll have two, the, uh, the two new version and the version that's got the older version of glibc. And if I do the same again now into the container, let's see what will happen. But before we do that, let's just read the elder elf of that program and sure enough we can see it was compiled on Ubuntu 9.5 Clang version 
was 15. So that's not changed. But uh, the version that GCC has. So if we look at the backup just to compare, we're now using that older version, which means when we distribute our binary, if we want the user base to be broader, we run the program. Let's probably go to the right directory first. User source. And sorry, that's not the correct directory. Where did I mount the? Oh, there it is. Source. Source. So if I now run, oh, I'll run the old one again, which, which will break. It won't work, sorry. If I run the new one, also doesn't work. Why is that? As you can see, there's more to learn. Hmm, why is that? 